innovation in education. And so there are other models in other countries where they have successfully shifted to a public health model for dealing with drug abuse and drug addiction that I think we ought to study and begin a serious conversation in the United States um, about a, a fairly radically different approach. I wondered if there's been a response to your book from President Obama's administration. Well, I was invited by Gil Kralowski, um, Obama's drug czar, uh, the head of the White House Office on Drug Control Policy, to come and give a talk about the book and to meet with, with their staff. Um, and I'll do it. I haven't set the date yet, but I'll do it. Um, you know, the, Gil Kralowski has said publicly that he thinks we should no longer call the war on drugs a war because we should not be at war with our own people. <laughs> and and I, I appreciate the, the shift in rhetoric. I think it's important. But if you actually look at the drug control budget, the Obama administration has devoted the same ratio of dollars to enforcement as opposed to drug prevention and treatment as the Bush administration. Um, and so, in terms of actual practice, we have not seen the change I'd like to believe in. Uh, we've seen a shift in, in rhetoric. And so the question is whether we'll move beyond a rhetorical shift to a meaningful shift in policy reform. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that, you know, whether or not that happens depends in large part on us. Whether we create a political environment in which the Obama administration cannot afford to ignore um, drug policy. Um, you know, to date, the Obama administration has made the political calculation that it has everything to lose and nothing to gain by talking about race or tackling criminal justice policy. Um, the only way that will change is if we actually create a political environment in which those issues can no longer be. Thank you so much.